In 1967, a three-year-old boy was abandoned by his father. His mother, who was still a teen mom, was left in the dark and questioned how she could give this boy the life he deserved. At that time, she had no idea who this kid would eventually become because of the rough start they endured. But a few decades later, that boy, Jeff Bezos, is one of the biggest e-commerce entrepreneurs and in the top three of Forbes' richest people in the world. So here is the story of how an abandoned kid built up the multi-billion dollar brand, Amazon. Ted Jorgensen and Jeff Bezos' mother, Jackie Guys, were just teenagers living in Albuquerque when Jackie got pregnant. Jorgensen, his biological dad, was 18 years old and his mother, Jackie Guys, was only 16. His mother was determined to keep Jeff, but she was afraid of what her family and others might think of her. To make it look more appropriate, the two flew to Mexico with their parents' money and got married. They welcomed their child, Jeffrey Preston Jorgensen, on January 12, 1964. Ted and Jackie were married for two years, but Jackie decided to move in with her parents because Ted was always out late, drank too much, and wasn't responsible as a father. Jackie decided enough was enough and wanted to take care of Jeff alone. Surprisingly, Ted didn't hesitate for a second and agreed to a divorce. Now you wonder, why Jeff's last name is Bezos? Well, three years after the divorce, Jackie married Miguel Bezos, a Cuban immigrant who taught himself English and eventually got a job at Exxon. Funny to Jeff was that Miguel only knew one word of English, hamburger. But this didn't matter to him as Miguel was already more caring than his biological father. Miguel took in Jeff and Jorgensen agreed to let Bezos adopt his son. So, at four years old, Jeffrey Preston Jorgensen became Jeffrey Preston Bezos. Jorgensen remembered the name Bezos for a short time, but he forgot it over the years. After a while, he even stopped talking to his ex-wife and son. It is questionable whether this damaged Bezos or led him to the right path. When Jeff was younger, he spent the summers working on the farm owned by his grandparents. He said his grandfather was full of wisdom and taught him important lessons about success. One of the things he taught him was being resourceful. If there's a problem, there's always a solution. Bezos worked as a cook at McDonald's after graduating with honors from high school when he was 16 years old. But after a miserable year working at the fast food company, he decided to set up his first small business. Together with his former girlfriend, he started the Dream Institute, a 10-day summer program for youngsters. Surprisingly, they were able to enroll six students while asking $600 per person. In 1986, Bezos graduated from Princeton University with a degree in computer science and electrical engineering. From that moment, he applied for a job on Wall Street and worked in several related fields but was it enough for Bezos? In 1994, Bezos realized something that would change his life forever. He noted that the web had grown by 2300% in only one year. The staggering statistic gave him the idea to start his own online business. That year, he decided to quit his job as vice president of D.E. Shaw & Company, a Wall Street firm, and moved to Seattle. He started working on his business plan and created a list of 20 prospective product categories that had the potential to be offered online. The decision was made, and that moment, his new company was born, an online bookstore. He first gave his brand new company the name Cadabra, but after a lawyer misheard the name as Cadaver, he decided to rebrand it to what we all know nowadays, Amazon. The business, founded in 1995, was selling books and became available in all 50 states and 45 foreign nations. In the first months following its start, it already became the Earth's biggest online bookstore. They used major book distributors to make sure that the packages could be delivered fast to the customer. Bezos was building and building to make it a success for when Amazon shares could be offered to the public. On May 15, 1997, the company went public 
with its stock priced at $18 a share and a market capitalization of roughly $438 million. Of course, this was a big win for the company. After that, it extended beyond book sales to almost everything a buyer could imagine. Amazon developed a full cloud computing service, television programs, an electronic personal assistant for people's homes, and expanded the platform into other retail categories, including food, clothing, and electrical. But what really made the difference in the success of Jeff Bezos? In a short period of time, Bezos went from zero to 100. The success of the company was definitely defined by Bezos' character as before he had little to no experience in the field. So who is this man and what characterizes him? Bezos has always had a special combination of idealism, optimism, and vision. He was guided by this belief when he moved into the early stages of the internet era. Bezos once stated, I am not intimidated by a lack of experience when I enter a new product field. I never get frustrated when we aren't great at something because I always think, well, consider how fantastic it's going to be when we are excellent at it. We should all take note of this. The current era of digital technology offers huge possibilities and will expand even more. So educate yourself and try something new that you could possibly be passionate about. The key to success behind Amazon is thinking from the customer perspective. Customers wanted their package delivered on the doormat instead of going to the shopping mall. This company was one of the first to make that possible. But also, Amazon has known dark times. After going public, Bezos used the $54 million earned to purchase smaller rivals aggressively. But as he borrowed another $2 billion from banks, the company's cash balance decreased to $350 million. Late in 2002, as sales remained stagnant, Amazon's reckless spending caused the firm to experience financial difficulties. When the company was in danger of going bankrupt, they had to close distribution centers and fire 14% of the Amazon employees. Jeff's personal net worth dropped to $6.1 billion in 2000, then $1.5 billion by 2002. And if you follow that trend all the way, Jeff could possibly lose all he worked for. But he was not going to give up easily because he was a fighter. Eventually, after a year, Amazon made a comeback, generating $400 million in profit. Still, he had way more visions he wanted to become reality. As you might have come to understand, Bezos was not someone who would run traditional businesses. After growing massively with Amazon, he wanted to invest his fortune in another business model. As a result, he decided to buy the Washington Post for $250 million. This seemed controversial as newspapers were more outdated those days and the company's financials were not promising. The newspaper business was bleeding money due to the high fixed costs that were incorporated. Bezos, however, found a new way. He remarked that the Washington Post had an amazing team of experts that were highly educated in media but did not know how to link this to the new digital era. Consequently, he decided to be the key to digital solutions and quadrupling the newspaper's revenue the following years. Besides setting up new businesses, Jeff Bezos also expanded his investment portfolio significantly by acquiring ownership in other lucrative web businesses, including Airbnb, Business Insider, and Uber. On March 6, 2018, Bezos surpassed Bill Gates as the world's wealthiest person by Forbes with a net worth of $112 billion. But his true goal was still realizing his dream from his childhood. Bezos has become wealthy by shipping toiletries and downloading books. But his true love is space. He first became fascinated by the existence of space when he was just five years old, observing Neil Armstrong making the first lunar landing. Since then, he always wondered about being out in space and pursuing a career in this field. So ultimately, Bezos established Blue Origin in 2000, an aerospace business that creates technology to reduce the price of space travel 
so that it will become affordable for end consumers in the future. He expects to revolutionize space travel with an equally simple notion. If we're going to come and go to space, our spaceships will have to come and go too. As he puts it, launch, land, and repeat. NASA chose 13 businesses, including Blue Origin, in August 2019 to work with them on 19 technological projects to explore the Moon and Mars. In addition to building engine nozzles for liquid-fueled rockets, Blue Origin is creating a precise and secure lunar lander. So who knows what we can expect in the future. So guys, this is pretty much it. Do let us know in the comment section below whether or not you have started any online business. Do you think we will be traveling to space anytime soon? Don't forget to subscribe and put your notification bell on because we will be back sooner than you think with another amazing video. Till then, take care.